or actually I could make it a Monday. I know that's usually a heavy day for people. I could also make it uh, July 9th, which is a Wednesday. Which, July 9th. All right. Um, State, you're asking me to put it out to July 9th. Let's see. By my count, that would be approximately six months from the event that brought us here. That would be approximately five, four months from now. Um, I'm thinking between now and then at least we'll have a deposition schedule set up so that we can see uh, where we are as far as first round of depots getting done. I'm sure defense has indicated that they're listing it or going to be utilizing experts that would give them a chance to get their experts listed and then perhaps get those um, set even if they're not taken yet. Does July 9th work for you or you want something sooner? Judge, I was going to suggest something sooner to the court like um, early June, maybe before this trial starts. <laughs> We try and do that. Let's see what we would have in early June. You say June 9th begins your trial period, so that means June 2nd would be that week. It happens to be my duty week where I am the uh, judge of judges and, uh, and cover all the overflow. That tends to make things fairly chaotic for me. As long as it's not going to involve a long hearing, if it's just going to be another quick pretrial, I could probably do that. Um, yes, my mind, I was just going to suggest that I think maybe if we're looking to have a, a depot schedule and get a reciprocal discovery and things of that nature, maybe we just have a status check earlier. I think the idea is you don't want to be here July 7th to find out we haven't had any depots even set. So your client's being held in jail without bond at this point. I can assure the court that as soon as humanly possible, we're going to prepare this case in a responsible way that protects um, his rights during trial and certainly we're aware that he's sitting in jail right now, sitting in jail right now. No, I know, and, I, and it's my expectation that, that you will be moving as quickly and efficiently as possible, and I know that the state also wants to get this resolved as quickly as possible. You know, I think I am going to go with that July date. It does make the most sense because I will have the best, the best sense of where we are. If we need to set another pretrial, we will at that point, but I would be looking on July 9th to set it for trial on a, a practical date uh, in the fall. Um, so what we'll do is we'll come back then July 9th, and I'm going to go ahead and make that one at 10 a.m. Or Yeah, let's make it at 10 a.m. July 9th. I'd like any motions that are filed to be filed um, by the previous Friday. Well, no, that would be the 4th of July. Um, by that Monday, July 7th, so that I can read them in advance, please. So if you are going to file any motions, I'd like them filed by July 7th so that I can read them. you want to waive your client's presence for that one, or do you want to wait and make that decision as we get closer to the event? If you want to wait on that and make that decision, All right. get some permission, how, how, how far in advance? Let, let's try and let me know by the previous Monday, so why don't you, uh, why don't you contact my office by June 30. June 30th, and let me know whether you want them brought or not, just because it requires a disposition of and an allocation of Sheriff's Office resources. Other issues that we can handle today, uh, you've indicated that you have had conversations with your client about waiving his uh, right to speedy trial, correct? Yes, sir. All right. State, do you have any objection to me accepting his waiver of speedy trial without him being present? No, you don't. All right. I'll accept a waiver of speedy trial, and we've set the pretrial. So then the question becomes, is there anything else we can accomplish today? Because I'm not going to see you all again until first week in July. So, Mr. Michaels, is there anything else I can do to advance this case so that it can be resolved in, uh, other than setting the case for pretrial on July 7th? Just, number one, assign these orders that the state has no problem with. And I, I provided a copy to the state of the proposed orders. Um, there, there was an issue of, during the uh, bond hearing, the external hard drive that we provided from the state that was downloaded with the videos. The Seagate, yes. The Seagate, yes. Mm -hmm. you recognize the uh, the uh, quality of that particular brand. I was yes. During the hearing, at any rate, I don't recall that we actually put in the evidence. At any rate, the clerk's office has it. The state isn't uh, opposed to me um, requesting.
nothing in that bag, so with the court's permission, and, and if the state has no objection, I'll, I'll submit a, a, um, a stipulated motion and a proposed order um, for the return of that, so I get it from the court. Any objection, State? No, no objection. No. All right, without objection, I'll sign that. Anything else I can do to assist? That's all for the defense. Okay, and so then, State, same question to you. Is there anything I can do today to assist you in moving the case forward? No, sir. Have you already spoken with the victim uh, or her counsel to see if she wants to make a statement today? I have, Your Honor. They've been on at this time. Okay, well then, fantastic. If there's nothing else we can do to uh, advance this case, we'll be in recess. Okay. Sure.